The spring officially begins for us uh, just before 530 this afternoon. We're going to bring our earth into the studio uh, and our sun is also coming into the studio too. I just want to make a, a note. This is not drawn to scale because uh, if it was, you either wouldn't see me because the sun would be too big or the earth would end up being really small and you couldn't see it. So we know our earth is uh, tilted on its axis at about 23 and a half degrees. Here is our sun. There's the equator. That's what the uh, arrow is pointing to there. So the earth is tilted right now away from the sun in this demonstration here. This is what winter is for us in the northern hemisphere. The winter solstice, that's the shortest day of the year in terms of daylight. That's when the earth is completely tilted away in the northern hemisphere again from the sun. We've got uh, summer in the southern hemisphere. The earth continues to revolve around the sun. That's when we hit the vernal equinox in March. That's what today is, springtime. The entire globe is seeing equal daylight, 12 hours of daylight, 12 hours of darkness. It is the same no matter where you are located on Earth. Now I'm going to go to the other side because the Earth is going to continue revolving around our sun. Now we've got the northern hemisphere pointed towards the sun. That's our summer solstice. That happens in June. And then 